This is the Alliance Art Gallery, and we are located in downtown, historic downtown Hannibal. We are open Thursdays through Mondays from 11 until 4.30. That's our COVID hours. We've been adding to um, the hours as uh, things have improved a little bit. Um, and we'll probably, hopefully, get back to full hours um, within the next couple months or so. We have actually been a gallery since 2003. We moved into this space in 2008. Uh, we love this uh, venue uh, because we have a rock wall that's opposite us. And it's just a wonderful space to be in. So we really appreciate that. We have 19 artists uh, in this gallery, and all of us own and operate the gallery. We all work here, uh, and we all have assigned jobs to do um, that are associated with operating a business. So um, it's a great opportunity not just only to show our art and to sell our art, but to also um, be affiliated with this great group of people. Each one of us has our own space and um, we bring in new work as often as we can. We have painting here, paintings, we have photography, we have wood, we have pottery, we have jewelry, and we have a couple of fiber artists. So we try to um, uh, keep that mix fresh and, and have you know a variety of different things in the gallery and it, I think it works. We also have a guest artist program. Each month we have a guest uh, artist and we curate that work. And um, this month we have an artist from uh, the Edwardsville, Glen Carbon area. Her name is Carmen Alana Tibbetts and I'm thrilled to have her here. Hello, I am Carmen Alana Tibbetts and I live part-time in Edwardsville, Illinois and part-time in New Mexico where I am from. And my artwork that you see here uh, is based on the animals that are native to Arizona and New Mexico. So some of the species that you would see, you might see here in the Midwest, but a lot of them are new to people. I consider my work to have an educational component because so many people think that the animals that are in the desert are just lizards and snakes and maybe some scorpions. But there's a lot more and it's actually a very diverse region. Anne invited me and that was great. Uh, she and I met, oh gosh, I want to say some years ago. Like at 2007 a, or something. Yeah, we run into each other doing art fairs in the area. So, you know, you sort of see each other and wave from across the way from your tent. And uh, she came to be a guest artist at my quilt guild um, back in, when was that, February? And um, so she invited me to come here, which is fantastic. So it's great to be here. I started sewing, stitching when I was just a kid. A lot of people started like that. My grandmother taught me. I've been sewing and I make quilts and I love sewing clothes. Um, but one of the things is, you know, when you're making a shirt or a dress, it takes a lot of fabric. And when I was a student, I didn't have money for that. So, you know, I started making things smaller and smaller and doing dolls. And one thing led to another and I guess it's been close to 20 years now. I just started doing the animal-human hybrids that you see here. So they have human bodies and animal heads. And that's something that you see in a lot of cultures throughout the world. So um, it's nothing new in that sense, but they're interesting. Yeah, they have a lot of personality. My work is expensive because it takes a lot of time. It's all made by hand. I want people to see some of the beauty, some of the interesting things that they've never seen before. And Putting them in doll form kind of brings people in. They kind of want to look and see because it's, there's something a little mystical, a little fairy tale like. I'm always happy to sit there for hours and sew at a sewing machine. So I, I love cloth. So I consider myself a textile artist, not so much a fiber artist because I don't work with, you know, cloth is my thing. Recently, I started getting into clay a little bit because I realized that people want a little bit more of a DIY kind of thing. And it seems like doing shows, talking to people, there's a resurgence and in interest in trying something yourself. So I do make patterns sometimes, um, but I also started 
doing clay headed dolls. So the heads, the hands, and the feet made from clay, which is a very traditional thing to do. So I sell dolls with, with those components. And then I also sell kits so that people can make their own bodies and their own clothes and make something that appeals to them using the materials that they have at hand. People send me pictures of things that they make. And it's really interesting to see where people go. You know, and you never know what people are going to do, which I think is great because it's something that, and they're very proud, they're very happy. You know, look, this is, you know, and they love it. And so that's, that's really nice. And I think that's one of the important aspects of being a fine craftsperson working with your hands, the ability to tell somebody with practice, you can make something beautiful too. And that's part of being human is working with your hands and your mind together and making something that has meaning in your life. The easiest thing to do is just Google my name, Carmen Alana Tibbetts, and you will be directed to my website or my Etsy shop. Those are the two main things if you wanna purchase something. If you just wanna learn about my artwork and how I make things, I have an extensive set of videos on YouTube and people really love those. So. You can find me, you can email me, you can, I'm on Instagram too. So, you know, all the usual stuff. So yeah, hope to hear from you. Along with the guest artists each month, we feature one of our member artists. And this month we're featuring a photographer, Barry Wright. My name is Barry Wright. I'm a photographer here. Uh, one of the artists at Alliance Art Gallery. There are about three of us photographers. I'm one of them. Um, I've probably been here for about nine, ten years. I've uh, been interested in photography since high school and made a living off of it for 20 years. And now it's kind of a hobby and I, and I sell things here. So a lot of my pictures are a process called HDR, where you combine several exposures into one image so we can get uh, all the range from the, do the darks and the lights in the picture. So one of my favorite things to photograph is abandoned things or nature. So I sell a little bit online at jbwrightphoto.net, but mainly, mainly I sell work here through the gallery. I'm just kind of take my camera wherever I go. Most of my images actually are from Missouri or so fairly close to this area. This one I call the Church of Complacency. This one is around uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Shelby area, Shelbyville. It's probably gone by now because uh, a lot of the places I find, within a few years, they're they're gone. So we were we were out uh, was out driving, looking for abandoned places. I had heard in that area there was an old cemetery which we found, but uh, this is probably about 50 feet off the road. Had to stop and go in, but the windows are all gone, the ceiling's gone, the roof so. You know, it's just a matter of time before the whole thing is a pile of rubble and whatever history there is gone. So it's obviously abandoned. The only color in it was the old blue chair that somebody had set there. A lot of them probably turned into a party site for a bit. Part of it's a little bit of a mystery to me because you know at one time that that church was somebody's pride and joy, their life. So to me, it kind of says a little bit when, when you find them abandoned and fallen in that somebody's uh, life, kind of a story of it that was here and gone. So this is Dogwood Canyon down in southern Missouri. Like I said, these other are probably within 30, 40 miles of here. So I think they call it the battery factory. Uh, heard it called the button factory. They used to manufacture uh, buttons. It sits right along the river. And at one time that's, they would harvest the uh, shells from the river and, and make buttons out of them. I think after that it was a battery factory. I had heard you could buy it for a dollar now. I visited that several times. The first time was probably about six years ago. And then I went back a couple years, um, just a couple years ago, and somebody's broken out of all the windows, so it's deteriorating too. So just try to catch some photographs before it, before it all falls in. Yeah, I'm, I'm Joan Mudge. We are from the East Alton Alton area. We come primarily here to this gallery because we, we buy a lot of art and we love this particular gallery. I think, I think the diversity of art, there's, there's such a wide range of, of genre. And I mean, 
and I like the fact they have a lot of local artists and then they and I love their guest artists. There's always a little surprise. There's a little surprise every time we come in you think you're gonna you know you're, you know you don't know what you're gonna see that's new so it's yeah it's kind of exciting for us. We always we eat lunch as soon as we get here and then we rush down the street to get, to get in so we can we can see everything but yeah it's one of our favorite places to come to. This is our first venture out since March. <laughs> so we're a little excited. <laughs> we do have a special um, party uh, once a month on second Saturday. From uh, one until six o'clock, we are open and um, we give artwork away at 5.30. So if you come in during that time, you can register for the prize. And it's just a way to get out and get people in the gallery and to enjoy some local art. Come on down and visit us. Uh, we have a website, allianceartgallery.com, and you can find out more about us there. You can see examples of everyone's work, and we also have the opportunity through the website to purchase things online if you want to do that.